Hi friends and welcome back to the farmhouse. Thank you so much for joining us today. We want to bring you along for our back porch remodel. It's a very big project and we're so happy to have you along for this. I've already gotten started taking off a few things, but here we are in the back garden. I have my tables for sorting for things that are staying and things that are going. And we're just going to jump in and get started clearing off the porch, getting rid of all the furniture so that we can get busy and start our work. do love this vine but it does take over and I know these vines can be damaging and for us to do our work it must go. the vine is down it's time for a deep clean we're going to get all the debris off the porch and then once we're done blowing it all off I'm going to come in and do a nice power wash Now that everything's clean, we're going to be removing the walls. The walls are actually sitting on the floor. We want to replace the floor. We have some bad boards. So we're going to go ahead and take all the walls down so they are not sitting on the deck. The thing about old houses is you never know what you're going to find when you start pulling things apart. And this is what we have. We had a door and a window in other places at one time. And unfortunately, you can see that we have some brick damage. I would love to leave this brick exposed, but because of the damage, it's just too much work. And we're going to go ahead. Thank goodness my son knows a little bit about masonry and he's come along and he is going to help us patch this up, make it a little stronger, a little safer, so it lasts a little longer.
our structure, we're going to go ahead and start pulling up this floor. This was a lot of work. There are so many boards across this deck and of course once you get them all pulled, you have to pull all the nails too. This was um, nailed down, not screwed down, so there were a lot of nails to pull. Also, looking here, our nail pattern was always crooked and we didn't know why. Well, our runs for support were not straight. So that is something we're going to take on. We're going to go ahead and make that support a little stronger, a little more durable, and straight. know down in the comments if you have an old house and some of the things that you have found when you were in the middle of a project or construction. wonderful watching the new floor go down and so much safer and structurally sound it was the new supports and our screw lines were nice and straight and yes we screwed in all of the boards so that if we have to ever take up a board it's so much easier to just unscrew it and take it up and replace it or what have you and it was great having this all come together it was a lot of work to this point and having the floor put back was wonderful I wanted to sand them so that the new paint would just go on so much better and be nice and smooth. So we went ahead and painted each panel individually while it was off the wall. It made it so much easier than trying to climb up there and paint. The new floor was thicker, so we had to make a lot of adjustments at this point.
I want to turn my attention to the doors. Here I am scrubbing. I'm using some crud cutter to really scrub the door. You know, we have fingerprints and all kinds of things. So I really want the paint to stick. So I set out to really scrub the door down and then I wanted to give it a coat of some primer. I'm just using some Rust-Oleum primer here and I'm going to do the exact same thing to the other door. When I'm done with primer, I'm going to go ahead and give them a nice spray of some nice dark chocolate paint. I am just loving how this porch turned out so warm and cozy and welcoming. Thank you so much for coming along. Look forward to the projects that I put on the porch, all the furniture that we're going to make over, and then the fall decorate with me as I put the porch back together and make it just look wonderful. I want to give a very, very special heartfelt thank you to my son, Patrick, my grandson, Aiden, Brandy, his mom, and Nick, and of course, Mr. Bloomwell, who without you, this project could not be completed. Love you all. Thanks for watching.